Hey everyone, this is Mike and in today's video we'll take a look at the newest version of the DJI GO 4 app and namely the 4.1.4 which just came out today. Let's get into it. Ever since the DJI Spark has been released, the community has been asking for new features and improvements to be added in the DJI GO 4 app and I'm really glad that DJI has finally listened and has made an update with uh, new improvements both for the Spark and the Phantom 4 series as well as the Inspire 2. We also get some nice features for the app itself and the editor which I think could be useful for everybody. Let's start with the Spark first. We have a new shooting mode which is 180 degrees panoramic we have new voice prompts for advanced gesture control mode. We can now set flight directions for helix and circle mode in quick shot. And we finally have a gesture for recording videos. As for the Phantom 4 series and the Inspire 2, they get added gimbal yo tuning and the Inspire 2 also gets aspect ratio overlays for the camera view which isn't that significant in my opinion. As for the editor, we have a new album feature, which I really like. It really reminds me of the one uh, we have on the iPhone and the Photos app. Uh, it categorizes your footage into different categories, depending on uh, your location or on your device. You can access different uh, folders, uh, depending on where you have been shooting and what device you've been using and I really like it because it allows me to quickly navigate to the photos that I'm looking for and share them quickly so that's a nice addition. Also a very nice addition for the editor is that you can now um, set a music in the editor as your favorite and use it in your future clips and you also have a lot larger uh, choice for music tracks that you can use for your videos. As for the more general updates of the app, you can now choose French language setting if you speak French. You can also set a cache limit automatically based on your device available storage space and your warning records are now categorized by aircraft type. And that's pretty much everything that we have from this update. I think it was a solid one. Um, and I'm really looking forward to trying out the new settings for Helix and Circle as well as the new editor um, and also the video gesture. This uh, feature has been requested a lot so really looking forward to see how it works. And that's pretty much everything for this video as well so thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Ciao!